Here's an interesting one, 30.3FFFR. It loads automatically, and as it's loading, you saw that kind of overriding stuff. I didn't quite catch it early enough in my recording, but it actually writes to screen memory this text you're seeing now. You can actually see the cassette loading in data, and it overwrites whatever was there with this beautiful welcoming screen that you can read as the tape is spinning. And you, I'm using the main emulator, and you see in the top left the uh, current tape indicator where it's at. And eventually this will be done and automatically loads. It's it's brilliant that they could load off a cassette and have it auto load when it was all done. So I'm just gonna skip ahead here. There's there it is, there's the auto load. And here we have module number one by Soft Tape, and you can see we're gonna try the first one here, Advanced Dragon Maze. First of all, let's uh stop the tape control counter from displaying in the top left. There we go, pause the tape. We'll save our game so we don't have to load it off tape of, again. And here we go. Advanced Dragon Maze by Gary Shannon. <laughs> You're in a maze and must get out. Start on the left, X on the right. I'm sure you've seen this before. The controls are kind of weird, though. U for uh, up, D for down, L for left, R for right. You have to actually type the initials. It'd be nice if you could uh, actually play it with a, a joystick, but we're going to use the keyboard because that's how it was programmed. And here we're at the interesting part. This is the procedurally generated maze. Creates it all by random uh, through whatever sorcery it has going on underneath the hood. But um, it actually fills in almost every square part of the screen before it's done. So it's a pretty nice little piece of uh, computer technology that they would actually go on to use in other games like Dungeon Campaign and Wilderness Campaign. So this this was kind of the seed program, like, look what I can do. And then they took that technology and put it into more fleshed out games. But in this case, it's just for the uh, the maze escape game that we're going to play here in a sec. So I'm going to skip to the end of the generation here. There we go. See, so it filled in almost every spot. There it goes. And we begin the angry red dot, or not the, the red dot is the angry dragon who is after you. You are the happy-go-lucky blue guy, also represented by a single block. But this is intense graphics here. It's state-of-the-art 1977. <laughs> I'm going to first show you what happens when the dragon captures you, because I'm sure you want to see it's pretty exciting stuff. So here I'm actually going the wrong way when I'm trying to get to the dragon, and now I'll back up and remember, U, uh, L, uh, U, yeah, here we go, gotcha, <laughs> rather than start over and draw it again, I'm going to reload a game, and now this time through, I'm going to escape, I'm going to try to escape, the dragon seems hopelessly lost there in the middle of the maze while I make a beeline for the exit. Let me see quickly looking ahead which way to go. Oh, these sound effects are awesome. Ah, which my ears hurt. Okay. There we go. Escaped. You win. And that's really it. That's Dragon Maze. Oh, sorry. Advanced Dragon Maze.